Hi there, and welcome to summer. This is Debbie Sternclar from the Boysville Public Library, and I'm going to show you how to sign up for the summer reading program this year. We have new software that you can use to log your reading, but also to um, participate in some fun missions. So you're going to need to start at our website, boysvillelibrary.org. And scroll down to the buttons where you find the Summer Adventure at the Vorpal Imagine Your Story button. And here is the Read Squared software. It'll tell you all about the programs for different ages. We have activities and reading for preschool, children, teens, and adults this year. So parents can make accounts too, teachers can make accounts, everybody can participate in summer reading. Before you can log in, you need to make an account the first time you visit. So I'm going to show you how to register now. And I'm going to register just myself. Today I am going to be 10 year old in the children's program. And I'm going to be the character Artemis Fowl today. We need your email address in case you win a prize raffle or we need to give you any important information. I'm putting in kids at vorpal.org as an example, but you are going to use your own email address, your parents' email address where we can get in contact with you. Artemis Fowl started out in Boysville Elementary School and he's in fifth grade. To make up a username, keep it simple. You don't want to type a lot every time. He's going to be a fowl. And you're going to need to put in a password twice and get it correct in both boxes for it to save. You need at least seven characters and one of them has to be a number. Keep it simple, something you're going to be able to do every time. Artemis is going to use read to win. And number two, read to win. If they match, you've made an account. And right away, you get a badge just for registering. Now. Besides the pretty badge for registering, we are also having a raffle for every kid who makes an account by midnight on Friday, June 19th, you will be entered to win a $50 gift certificate to the Jericho Drive-In so you and your family can go to a drive-in movie. So make sure you get right on with a parent and make your account today. Once you have your account, here you are, you can choose your avatar and design it yourself. Let's see. I'm sure Artemis is not gonna want that bow in his hair, so let's deal with that. Oh yeah, he's undercover. That's a good look for him. So here is Artemis Fowl. And you can change your avatar as many times as you'd like. You change it every day that you log in. Now, once you are here, this is where you're going to be able to log your reading. You can either click log reading or logging. Let's try it this way this time. Ah. Here, you can either log your missions or your books. Right now, I'm going to log my reading. You need to choose if you're going to keep track of each book title that you read, how many minutes you read. So if you set that you read 15 minutes a day, maybe you want to choose minutes. Or if you read an hour a day, maybe um, you could use hours. I like to use books. This year, there is no difference. There, there aren't two prize categories. You don't get golden tickets for hours. 
and community service um, award um, tokens for books. We are just going to be choosing one. Any way that you want to record is fine. You will be getting points for either book titles that you read or for the amount of time that you spend reading. I'm going to choose books. And a book title that I read is, uh, let's see, oh, The Wishing Spell. It's a great story for this summer. It's a great read aloud. It's a fantasy by Chris Colfer. And after you have your title and your author, you can write a short book review. You can give the book stars. This is a five-star book. I highly recommend it. Um, and it, one of the reasons that I like the wishing spell is that in the book, a twin brother and sister are trapped. They're sucked into a storybook. And in order to escape from the storybook, they have to gather different fairy tale objects to complete a spell that will get them out of the book. So I'm going to write a short review about that. Yeah, so this summer's theme is Imagine Your Story. So it can be fairy tales, um, art, and things like that. Or it could be thinking about your own story and writing um, like diary entries or... It can mean a lot of different things, or it could be thinking about your family heritage. Lots of ways to interpret, imagine your stories. And people will be able to see your review, and maybe they'll pick the book, the same book that you read to read for themselves. So, you can go back and look at your logging history. So if an, a week goes by and you can't remember if you put in the wishing spell or not, um, you can check and there it is. You can check your badges. So now I've earned the level one badge because I read one book that got me 100 points. So there you go. That's how to make an account and how to log your book. You will log out when you're done for the day. And the next time you don't have to make an account, it's already made. So you could sign back in, a hey, foul. And his password was read to win. And when you logged in, you'll be back here. So here was your registration badge. And here's your level one badge. Remember to make your account by midnight on Friday, June 19th, to be entered to win our first raffle for the drive-in movie gift certificate. I'm going to make another video to show you more about missions and tell you about our second raffle prize when you reach level three by June 22nd. But more on that in a minute. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps. You can always email us at kids at vorpal.org if you have any questions or call us during Monday through Friday business hours, 10 to 4 currently, 518-765-2791. Thanks for watching.